Well, it's okay, their support can't communicate, so hope you guys take advantage of all lane. <laughs> so, if you guys lose, I don't know what to say. They don't even okay. speak the same language. Okay, <laughs> man. No, I'm just oh. saying, I'm just saying, that my expectations are high. Uh, come on, man. I, like, I'm lagging, okay? What are we, what are we banning? What are they playing? Oh, fuck. Kaido's ult is great for team fights. You can steal the Hecarim to get in there, or even if that ends up being a Gnar, something you can grab Ooh. away as well. So, uh, there we go. Uh, a pretty aggressive game plan for CLG here. You can see they're going to be focusing on getting this mid lane accelerated, most likely, and, and kind of leaving the side lanes for themselves. Whereas TSM have a surprisingly standard comp, given what we've seen out of TSM recently. This is pretty much a straight front to back team fighting team comp. Um, and they don't have like a necessary lane that they must play around. They don't have a clear like, oh, we're going to get mid with all this gank set up or top. Or That's obviously going to be good news for the lane that wants to play aggressive. Oh, might be getting bait in here. You might see a 2v2 mid. Both sixes on mids, no sixes on jungles. Power Fox, though, of course, can steal Hacker Multi. Fine, and repeat power. ganks, as well as have some priority from the mid lane. There's no flash. They can now spill this over into the bot lane and where they already had some advantages Ooh, from Boomer Boom's lane. That knockup barely hit you, Asan, but that is a brutal hit there. This does mean, though, that Huni is going to have this Rift Herald, but now uh -oh. we'll see what you do on the other side. Boom with the Insta Flash out of there because they're going to try to back around. Boom! Gonna be forced to pop the shield, but Tactical almost made him pay. Yeah, a bit of a mistake there. We see a 2v2 in the top side. On tracks, looking for the kill. Oh, going in way aggressive, and he gets it! First block with the red buff, burns it down, but now Hooney's here in contract. Gonna keep trying to fight, but doesn't have the energy left. Buff transfer complete. I was mistaken. I thought that was a 2v2. That was contracts trying to go hero mode. Yeah, for clarity, this would have been a great 2v2. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, that's why I was like, Contracts must be 2v2 because it looks like it's going well for him. But it's actually just a really nice uh, QR-Q combo as we see. Hold on, I don't have time for that! No time, Palfox is dropping the base on Kaido. W hits, Poom is there, and that is going to be a kill on the two on TSM side. Cannot re-engage fast enough. Yeah, that's the flash punish we were talking about. A little bit of pressure around the bot side of the map, and a roam by Poom able to find that kill. Looked like Palfox set that one up to be fair as well. Nicely done. That's what you want on the Silas. Get out of the lane, get aggressive, and uh, you know, steal a good ulti. Click on him. Yeah, it's just dangerous for Victor to leave lane. That's why a lot of times it's Jenkins. Whoa. Gotta respect the double buff. Yeah, careful there. Good uh, care shown. His bottom lane, Yosa, no ulti. After try proc it, but it just doesn't matter. Boom with the kill. Eats contracts just to make sure. Tactical now. Low and Luger finds the final rocket they needed. Oh. A little bit more difficult as we see a potential dive being set up here by CLG. 4v2. Luga goes in, pops the cleanse. Yosan with very nice defensive play. Poom getting low, but Luga still firing back in contracts. Missing that. Left with just your own base mana pool and a little page of a book. As Luga still playing aggressively here. Does have Devour. Poom's going to move in, gets it. Speak it down here as well, but contracts still waiting out the play. Kicks him away defensively. That pressure in the 1v3. Power Fox looking again onto tactical. Everfrost barely going to miss. Let's the ulti go. Contract's still gonna finish it off. Execute Woo! so easy. Kicks him into the gold drinker and tactical goes down. That was the just a 1v1 this, but Speaker has stayed in this brush for very long. X Flash coming in. TP in. Oh, Speaker looking to try and spring the trap. Boom there with the quick devour. W's away, gets Contract to safety. Again, this is still a 5v4. His Contract goes back in, but thinks better of it. Jenkins with a smoke screen gets a big near side, but no one's going through as tactical is respawned. Yeah, Jinx has rotated over as well. She's going to get some chip damage down the turret while this is going on, and Tactical is coming out from the base. Gets the tower. Basically still a 4v4 though, around the Rift Herald. But Lugan now joining the fight. Huni here as well. Not sure if they want the fight or the Herald Contracts. Looks like he's trying to finish it off, but he's going to look for the smite. Finds it, but can't grab the eye just yet. Jenkins walking forward, trying to get it. Kaidua with the defensive ulti. Power Fox steals the Hecarim. Huni looks for the scoop. Only finds Poom. Speaker's ulti misses. And now Contracts going back through, and Huni's going to be the target. Power Fox. Flash ulti finishes off the Gnar, goes back in, finds the double, Yursan falls Whoa. as well. Perfect play from the Power Fox, Silas is going to give CLG everything. CLG kite that fight out perfectly. The last members of TSM just barely able to escape for their lives. Actually, Power Fox not done yet. Triple is going to find a delayed triple, still good. Speaking with a thumbs up, Power Fox with the second kill. Like there's no Power. way for them to really contest this. They're going to try and make side lane plays on Jenkins. Big side Jenkins at it again. No flash. Speaking with the knockback there. Jenkins though fighting his way out of it. Not too bad, but he's going to fall at the end of the day. 
But hey, that's one kill for TSM. At least they get some gold back. All right. That I'm glad is showing up a little bit more. But this is a very bold Baron. I like this. You said sealed you're aggressive. This is a very aggressive way to kick this section of the game off. Yeah, it's basically on spawn. Now they're going to turn off. Yep. Oh, good ulti again. They steal a contract with a kick, but not quite enough contract. Goes back in, gets clipped by the Hecarim ulti, and Yursan is going to make sure he goes down. It's a Baron. Yeah, a lot of vision control, though. TSM is 100% aware that this is going on. They see them run into the pit. And they know they want to contest this. They have all their abilities up, well, most of their summoners as well. Alphox not here, by the way. He's actually teeping into this fight instead. CLG are not pulling off this just yet. Trying to really run the long con here on this play. Where's the TP for Palfox? Has to be used now. Apparently not. There it is. A little late, but it's a flank they're looking for. Now they're almost close to a flip. They pull away. You are some with the ulti, but Palfox has the angle. Zooms on in. Which ulti is he going to take? Everfrost doesn't quite get the slows he wanted. Palfox gets a Leona ulti. Jenkins just blows up Yursan and barely missing the chain onto Huni who flashes away. Man, I like the way Palfox played that. A little slower than I thought he was going to. I thought he was going to go crazy, chain in there, just start trying to AoE. But actually just watch, tries to ran, land the root, let his team poke them down, let the Jinx land some rockets. And then once they get low, then steal the Leona ultimate. So I really like that play from Palfox setting up this Baron now. Yep, still on the potential clip though. The speaker can get into the pit here. Does have ulti, can go around the back here. CLG are looking to try and finish it off here. I think they're happy to take their chances. Not yet though. Ulti dropped there by Victor. Speaker still hunting around the side of CLG. They want to kick him out of there. Speaker going back in and he's stolen the Baron. Contract's going to kick him. Speaker will suffer a death for it. But and very good coordination as we'll watch the preview from Speaker's side. Oh boy. We'll see where he wants to go. This looks a little early for the smite steal. They have to wrap back around. We'll Victor's, get there. Victor is going to alt over the wall. We'll see how long. Because it, it's around 2,000 health. There you see the Victor put the... <laughs> the like, wait a second. He puts it over there. Then it's taking it down. Here comes the... They also throw the, the Aphelios thing over. Wow. That's just a really well coordinated... Already looking to drop the ulti down. Does use it. Oh, it's your son. Damage, but your son. Oh, no. Caught out of position. Just left for dead here by TSM. Not sure how he didn't get the exit, but Luke is going to take that extra gold. Yeah, this fight. A... Unlucky amount of gold. Ooh, I like this. Onda Jenkins trying to find a kill early, but boom, ready to save him. Now Power Fox ready with the Leona ulti. Contract looks for the kick. Barely missed it onto Tactical. Kicks him just barely the wrong way as Power Fox is going to have to dip. Gravity Gun though is going to find contracts and boom, I think, but it is not let go there as Tactical let the ultimate rip as Huni now TPing back through is going to try and reinforce behind the rest of TSM as the rumble for the dragon is on. A lot of ults used there. A couple flashes as well. Probably favoring TSM a little bit here because they still have their massive team fight ults in Hoonies, which he just used on contracts. And I was going to say Speakers. And now Power Fox also has a Hecarim ulti to use there. Hoonie actually still battling the rest of CLG. Dragon is low, but I think they just want to take the team fight win instead. Power Fox running interference on everyone else. Hoonie low now in mega form. He's going to have to flash away, but TSM are going to get away with it. Just barely, Hoonie. No. He's going to live. And they shut down Power Fox after he dives in to try and finish off the kill. Killing your relatively tanky Lee Sin. No ulti right now for Speaker, but this is a very aggressive start to this Baron. Ulti's gonna hit contracts and knock him back through. That's so much damage, but boom! Plucks him out of the team fight with the ulti, and Power Fox around the side is gonna try and make the play. Steals the owner ulti this time, but Baron initiative is gonna go to TSM as Power Fox lets the ulti rip. LG. CLG definitely like getting kills. As Contracts is just chasing Huni again. But now Speaker's gonna wrap around, but a good flash and hop out of Contracts. He's gonna leave your side of the front lines and Luga is able to finish it off. And now they're going up. Power Fox sets it up and Luga knocks it down. A double kill for the Jinx as Speaker dodges the ulti and CLG are back to Baron. Oh. Gonna grab their first Baron of the game. It's been getting a little dicey, but this could be the final piece they needed to close this game out. Oh, I mean, he's pretty tanky too. Those super creeps hurt, but <laughs> just chunking him down. Mid lane is in the bigger threat with Luger able to walk up. And there's the ulti again, Luger! Just a couple rockets into the back and tackles a race from the rifts. Kaido is going to be the next one forfeit. And CLG with a minute left on Baron, they're going to march through and end this game. And Reggie, get the eBay account ready, buddy. It's time to sell things off. Uh, TSM trying to see if they can maybe find the last stand, but it's not going to happen. Palafox finding the setup on that play. Luger slam dunking that one home. And TLG are going to find their second win. Some missteps here and there, but is CLG winning at the end as Luger dominates TSM to bring them the win. CLG.